Hello. Retro. I'm going to show you a few little pointers when you're playing a competitive FPS. Um, I don't know if you would, I mean, not Fortnite or anything like that. More like a old school competitive FPS. Um, I'm in no way a pro. Uh, years back I was fairly competitive, but uh, config files, um, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, for example. And um, when you're looking at your config file, there are things, and you can pause the video if you want. Um, this is a config file that I have done up. I'm not cheating, but um, over here, I think I have this set at 3,000. So I always put uh, my name and the date that I, and the year that I last played with the config, and I put the mouse and the DPI that I have it set out for the sensitivity. Um, I try to keep the sensitivity in the game at one. Sensitivity in game should be as one or as close to that as you can get, and just raise the DPI in your mouse settings. That gives you the best one-to-one -one accuracy in the game. Um, uh, there are other things that you can do in config files. You can use your settings in-game too, if you like. Some of the older games like this, you could, you know, build full configuration files for, like, you know, Half-Life. Um, and then I have the FOV for 100, which is comfortable for me, and that's going to affect the DPI. Um, in the mouse, which is here. So I have this set at 3,000, um, which is comfortable for me with the sensitivity in-game being 1. Add an FOV of 100. If you change the FOV, it's going to affect what you want to keep your DPA, DPI at um, if you leave your sensitivity in-game at 1. And then have your mouse set up. You can do that in game or in the config file. And then you, the weapons that you use, you have to get comfortable with which buttons um, are most comfortable for you to use certain things in game. These I already have set up, um, but I can show you in game. And then I have a crouch jump set up. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. I think they got rid of that at some point, but it's still in there and it doesn't bother anything. So um, let's save that because I, I changed that. And, and then we go in game. And I'll just create a server. My, one of my favorite maps is uh, Abyss Fixed. And I'm going to put team play and flashlight on just so I can make sure those keys work. And um, so when you're in game and you go to settings or options, certain stuff gets written over and you can adjust it while you're, while you're in game. Um, if you have a good enough system, you can, you know, anisotropic all the way up, anti-aliasing or anti-aliasing however you want to say it all the way up whatever best graphic settings whatever you want to do if not bring those to the bare minimum um, but your mouse you want to keep that at raw input any game that offers raw input you should have that and you'll see the sensitivity I have set in the config is one that's important and then uh, in the keyboard settings these are all done in the config but if not you can do it here, and then if you go to advanced, I have the fast weapon switch on and the developer console on, which is what you want. And for some reason, you die when you hit OK for the first time. I'm not sure how that works. Um, I don't know if I'm a combine. It'll tell you in the bottom left corner if you're a combine, if you don't move, or auxiliary power is all the way up. Mm-hmm. 
So I have a button set up to um, see how I became a rebel. Rebels are quieter than combine. Um, and then, the, and here's how you want to set it up. You like so you have your switch weapon on your bottom thumb mouse button, and then you want to keep your on your top mouse button. You have two side mouse buttons. You have a bottom one and a, and a top one. The bottom one should always be switched because your thumb can switch quick, and you want to be able to switch quick because you want to be able to throw shit and then go right back to the same weapon you were using. Um, you won't be able to use certain weapons unless you have them, but you always want to be able to throw stuff if you can find it. And you'll see I picked this up, which I have uh, set to key 5. Um, and you can also grab stuff. Oh, some stuff, I don't know. Um, grab boxes, throw them, break them open. And then use the thumb button to keep switching back and forth like this. So as soon as you throw it, switch right back. And keep your, like on my number one, I have my pistol, because I very rarely use it. But in a pinch, the pistol works pretty good, because I think it knocks off like 25 hit points off of someone. So in a pinch, I mean, if you're really accurate with the pistol, you can knock a couple hundred points off somebody with eight shots. Pretty sure it's 25 each shot. And then, but you switch back. Like, so you can grab this and then switch right back. Here's the uh, 357, which I just picked up in this room. And then my pointer finger goes to the F key. E, um, you know, is your use key in pretty much every game. Blow that out. Um, but my F key goes to my favorite weapon which I don't have yet. But then I use the same finger, which is the pointer finger, to go to my, to the uh, alternate weapon on that side. Um, yeah, let me just grab this real quick. And that's gonna be on Z, which is very easy to hit. Um, I use the zoom on Q. And now that you have the sensitivity at one <clears throat> in the game, you'll notice that even though you're moving around pretty quickly, you can aim very accurately, whether you zoom or not, which is what you want. Um, these are important things. Oops. Try not to blow shit up in your face. And then these I have to X. Oop. There we go. Those are like mines. So here I have pretty much all my weapons. Um, get a pistol out. And you can see like how accurate you can be when you have the sensitivity the DPI is all the way up and the sensitivity in game is like at one you can be pretty accurate mouse wheel of course scrolls the weapons so sometimes I'll just do like a quick scroll and see what random weapon I come up with um, and then I can always use my keys where I have my weapon set up at um, So this I have on two, which you're going to use your middle finger to be on W, which is what's going to be propelling you forward. And so that weapon is going to be a weapon that you're either going to already have out because you like it. So it's quicker while you're moving to go to your other weapons. Um, or you can slide when you're sliding back and forth. Like let's say I have this weapon out and I'm sliding back and forth. I can hit that weapon on my middle finger. But if it's already out, which is why you want to have that on the thumb, then it's easy to just pull something else out. 
the reason I have this right here is that's a grenade and then go right back to your shoddy and then your middle finger grab some five whatever weapon you have on the switch is what you're going to end up with um when you hit your switch. So if you have this, that's gonna be your switch weapon. If you have this, that's gonna be your switch weapon. Um, I guess one more thing I could say. Um, my flashlight I have on G. Um, yeah, I have one here. Do I have one here? Yeah. Um, another thing, just one more thing, is practice. You know, you can bunny hop. I've seen guys do... There's a lot of guys that bunny hop. Again, I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. But there's a lot of guys that bunny hop. Um, and that would be like you would hold either left or right after you sprint so you would sprint and jump I've never been really good at it but I know some guys that are really good <laughs> like they can just bunny hop all over the map um but if you're playing point, like if you're sniping, it's a whole different ball game. But if you're playing point or if you're just having fun and just killing people, mm -hmm. what you do want to practice is there are two major things you would want to practice on a first person competitive shooter. Um, so professionals, maybe not so much because it's just a run and gun. Uh, but if you're playing, you want to practice back and forth um, in both directions. And you want to be able to get your, get your keyboard and your mouse pad set up however you play so that it's comfortable for you. And just do it from both sides. So like I'm adjusting my mouse pad because this particular direction, you want to be able to you know, look behind you quickly while you're aiming so let's say you know you're running through the tube and there's someone behind you you don't know who's in front of you so you want to be able to shoot both directions you're going to want to practice that so you can shoot someone turn around shoot someone else and before I go You'll notice like some games have these little things. You can pick them up sometimes or whatever. Um, but mainly I use those to like practice shooting. stuff up in your way, throw it at people, practice shooting. Um, and that's it. Maybe I'll do a video where I'm actually in a server and whacking some people. All right. But anyway, so get yourself a good mouse and keyboard and set it up the way you want. fun. Oh, I already have 50. I don't need that. 
Um, but anyway, just a quick video. Just toying around, playing around with my config and thought I'd throw something up on the YouTube. Um, like and subscribe and game on and enjoy the weekend. Peace.